Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. This is the personal size giant print reference Bible. This is a lot of people like personal size giant print. Giant print is larger, obviously, than large print. Now, one thing I was a little disappointed in when I got this, this is the old timey imitation leather, which is basically cardboard. And it's really bad. <laughs> For a lot of reasons. It's the biggest thing is it just doesn't last nearly as much as these imitation leathers that are petroleum based that they're doing. Now it does have absolutely gorgeous headbands and tail bands, and it has a ribbon marker. Let's open up this ribbon marker here. Pull it out. Just a nice size ribbon marker. Nelson's really been doing a good job. Now this particular ribbon marker, I would cut that off because it's it's this is done on the cheaper end. Now I don't remember how much I paid for this. Uh, see it retails for $19.99. Well, how much is a Bible worth? It gets you to heaven. It's, it's gonna be worth a lot. But like Family Dollar, I think they have some Bibles of, from Nelson that are maybe superior. Here's what the this uh, page looks like, the introduction page, you know, the gift giving page. And it uh, it's more like a gift and award Bible, just in large print. Now the print, the, the size of the Bible is phenomenal. Like my Cambridge giant print, excuse me, large print text only is larger, pretty good bit larger than this. And the print in this guy is, is very good. Now, it doesn't have much in the way of margins. Some, it has probably 0.375 inches in the gutter, uh, maybe a half inch at the top, maybe, 3.75 to half inch at the, uh, the sides and bottom. One fascinating thing that they kind of just started doing. Now, over the years, like in the 19th century, they did this. Um, they had references at the bottom, maybe even in the Reformation era. Maybe some of the Jewish scrolls had that. But uh, it does save room. I like end of verse references are my favorite but it's good and the subject headings are at the top kind of like a traditional cambridge text so it doesn't have in-text headings it doesn't have like the chapters divided but man it's beautiful printing beautiful printing and this was done 217 yeah and it does have the 2K Denmark type foundry, which is just good. It has the epistle dedicatory in there. I just did a Holman note takers. I didn't notice the epistle dedicatory. It may have been in there. It does have small introductions at the front as well. And that's something unique for a Bible like this. But you can tell by the, like the ribbon marker that it's not good i'll just show you like malachi with the introductions i appreciate sister waldron zooming in and out we're going to do a test to make sure it lays flat in genesis to have smith so um the only thing that i would not particularly like about this bible is the cover the print size is beautiful tk denmark always hits the home run with uh, joy in Bible reading. It, it's just fantastic. Now it does have like, because of the references at the bottom, it'll have like little letters and stuff in the text. To me that busies up the text a little bit. I'm trying to find a page with a lot of red letter for Sister Waldron to zoom in. I didn't realize Jesus didn't talk very much in a lot of the gospels here. Okay, but all of it's the words of Jesus obviously. But red letter looks good great size bible i just need to mention that um, i'm not positive i've ever seen a giant print this small and so that's worth something very light very easy to carry 
It has the mock Bible bands on the spine, which means they're just gilt. You know, it's gold edging, but it's nothing to write home about. It's not bright gold edging in the least. But with references, introductions, and uh, I'm gonna see something here. Yeah, good concordance. I was gonna make sure it's red letter. In Revelation it is, miracles of Jesus, um, parables of Jesus, the print size and the concordance is good. We'll see about the maps. But for a gift and award, I don't know what's the cheapest you can get these. I did some, was it Hendrickson or Nelson? They were running some for like $6.99 or something giant print and i'm like this is the best bible deal in america they've since gone up since i did that video to like 7.99 but they're still I was getting them from christian book it used to be zondervan was the only one that had uh, introductions nice slick uh paper nelson maps not really any page to write on or anything like that has a little history of their type. I'm gonna see how long this concordance is. It starts on, uh, stops on page seven, 1714. 1714 and starts on 1620. Eight, so it's 86 pages or so. Great Bible, what can I say? So it comes, I mean, this is flimsy. It's a real cost cutter Bible. It'll get you to heaven. God bless, we love you. Talk to you later, bye-bye.